Hello everyone and welcome back to another scene tutorial video. We are back at the map that I created last time with you and today I am gonna show you how you flora paint and how you create entities and uh, in other words I'm gonna create a bridge and a little forest on this island I have uh, created. So since last time I have created this river and uh, added a few hills uh, around the map. And uh, last time I talked a little about elevation and uh, I was reminded that, uh, that there are some shortcuts. So again, we open up the uh, elevation, terrain elevation tool and you would have to rise the ground. So right now we are creating a hill as you can see. If you want to smoothen this instead of uh, changing the brush you could actually just hold down shift and you will see nice and smooth. You can also hold down control to flatten the terrain if that's what you like. It's all up to you. So, when you want to flora paint, you go into the paint floor and you can find all sorts of different uh, trees and bushes and even carrots, as you can see here, very tiny pieces. Uh, we don't want to do that actually, so away with that. But you can uh, go through all these and you can add whatever you want. That would be the most easy way to do it. So, for instance, let's say we want to find a tree. Let's just take a pine tree. And you would have to select paint. And you can very easily paint a forest. And if you want to get rid of it, you just select the erase tool very easy. Now that is what most people would probably do from the start but I'm gonna show you a much quicker and much cooler way to do it because it's gonna take a lot of time if you want to create a large forest. I mean sure you could uh, just paint around do all this but you would ha have to still add grass and bushes and stuff and that's gonna take a lot of time and we don't want to do that. So we're going to do it the easy way and I'm going to show you how. So let's go to the little island I created. Now the first thing you are going to do when you create, let's say we want a forest here, but it could be anything. It could also be a field or perhaps just grassland. So you go to the paint terrain layer again and we are going to create a new layer. So we choose default and we double click and we go into the diffuse map as I showed last time. And now we're gonna just go down and see if we can find some nice texture. Yeah, why not? Let's use this. So we're gonna use this texture and now we want to just paint all of the island. Very easy. You decide whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be this texture and you don't have to color all of the map. But for now we're just going to do that. It's going to be very fast, very easy way to do it. And I'm going to show you how you can create a forest with using another texture layer. It's very easy, very fast and I think the results are pretty good. But that's just my opinion. So we want to have uh, an edge where we are gonna create a, a little riverbed later on and here I'm probably gonna add some sort of cliff or earth texture. Alright, so now the island is pretty much painted 
with the new layer we have made, which is a forest texture. Now I'm going to show you a very quick and very cool little thing you can actually do to make your texture come more alive. I mean right now it's very plain and slightly boring to be honest. So you double click it again and you are going to open up uh, the lighting and you have to choose this parallax. Now when we increase this you will know notice that um, the texture is going to change a bit and it's going to make the rocks of on the texture here come more alive. So let's go back and increase it. You can also decrease it if you want that. Let's try 400 shall we. Now that's a very rough terrain. Maybe too rough actually. So what about we turn it down to 300. Hmm? 200? Yeah, I think that's good. So just by doing that you actually create a much better looking uh, texture for this island. I mean you may not see the complete change now, but when you're walking around that is going to look much much better. And uh, we're going to use it later for some cliff texture. Uh, as you can see, probably not from here, but I have also textured the mountain and in the next episode I'm going to show you how we can improve that. So let's get back to our little island and start making a forest. So you double click again and this time we're going down to the bottom, Flora Meshes. Open that. Now this tab it opens here is actually one type of flora. So it's going to uh, be applied to wherever this texture is made. So we're going to find a very nice little texture and uh, I don't know about you but I like aspen trees. So how about we take the Flora Tree Aspen Mix. I think that's a good one. Now we are gonna change the density to, what should we say, 15. Yeah, maybe that's a little too much actually. What about 12? Very nice. All right. So just by doing that, you can see we have actually created a little forest and it's only on this island. It was very easy and very simple to do. And you can do it as well. Now, this is slightly boring, isn't it? So how about some grass? You can see this tab is only for the trees. So we could uh, increase the density and uh, have more trees. And you can also change the colony radius and a lot of other settings as you can see, the size of the trees and so on and so on. But now we're going to create some sort of grass and I know there's some type of grass I actually like. Let's see if I can find it. We don't want the dry grass or plants. I think it's this one. Very nice. Now, this looks a little weird because there's not a lot of grass, but let's try and turn up the density to 24. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's look. I, I think that looks all right, but let's try and increase that a little. And you can also change the colony radius. Let's try that and see what happens. So there's a little more grass now, and uh, we could even increase it even more. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So let's try. 40. Hmm. Not bad. How about we change the weight here? Just so you can see what happens. So, we got a lot of grass on the island now. I think it looks pretty cool. But I think we need some sort of shrubbery, bushes and perhaps some flowers. 
So let's go ahead and uh, it's still the flora meshes uh, that's open. So we have the tree and we have the grass and now we're going to find some shrubbery. And I know there is something down here. So we're going to take that one and let's try to increase it to 12. And there you go. Let's see if we can find any. No. Hmm, interesting. Let's try and look at that. Why is that? Hmm. Ah, there we go. I don't know why there wasn't any bushes before, but um, now there are. It looks pretty nice. I think we want some more uh, inside the forest. Um, so maybe we should increase it to, let's see. Oh, oh, not that much. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Looks pretty good, I would say. There's still some barren places. Maybe we should increase the grass even further. Just a bit. Hmm. I'm just trying a little different settings and see whatever I like. I think this looks rather nice, to be honest. We can always add a, a flora on our own if this is not satisfying. So, let's try and add some flowers. There we have it. And we got some flowers. Let's try and increase that to 13. And now we have a little flower here. That's nice. And uh, remember, you can actually mix whatever you like here. Uh, this is just the way I wanted this island to look like. And uh, if you want something else, you can do that. Just go ahead and make a new uh, texture layer in fact i think we are gonna go ahead and try and create a little riverbed here so a new layer and we want some sort of pebbles gravel perhaps yeah let's try gravel i'm not sure if it looks good but we will try i think that's all right uh, perhaps next episode I can show you how to better blend between those textures because this looks a bit extreme. Uh, for something like this you would have to use the parallax. So you, just like before you increase it a bit you can see the, the stones sort of uh, stick out and you can uh, can increase and decrease it as much as, as much as you think is possible and necessary for this scene. Hmm, maybe. I think that's just a little too much. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, much better. So it actually looks like uh, pebbles now, and just and not just some damn plain texture. Uh, I think that's a very nice way to add detail to your map. Alright, the video got a little longer than expected, so I think I will end this video here. And if you want to create entities, make sure to check out the other video. And um, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.